Hey, my name is Paul. Today we're going to talk about NPN versus PNP sensors. I bought this uh, new to me used 2015 Bailey PT22. It's a 2x2 CNC plasma cutter. And in my last video, what I thought was a loose wire was actually a bad sensor. So I did some research. Um, I knew enough to know that there's basically four different kinds of sensors. There's an NPN, a PNP, and then the subclass of those that can be normally open or normally closed. So in my last video, I got it down to, I was pretty sure I had a normally open um, switch and then I there's, there's a whole bunch of NPN PNP research about a pull up and pull down resistor and none of it made sense I took a gamble I ordered a, um, a PNP from Amazon and I had a 50-50 chance and I ended up getting it wrong so um, I wanted to explain the difference between the two that way you guys don't have to go through the same thing. So what I did, I rigged this up real quick. I have, so this is your proximity sensor and I, this is the one that ended up working and I wrote it on the machine so I didn't have to wonder in the future. Um, so what's installed in this machine is an NPN and then this guy right here is a PNP which was the wrong one. But what I did for the purposes of science I wired it in here also, but I left the sensor wire hanging. That way I could show you guys what voltages it puts out on. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. And I got my voltmeter set here. So the first one we're gonna do, and these are proximity sensors. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is the one on the machine. And since the one on the machine is installed and working, I can't tram it back because it won't actually go over the sensor because the computer detects it and uh, won't let it go over it. So I'm actually going to hold a piece of metal over it and show you what voltages it puts out. So this first one is an NPN NO for normally open. So here I'll show you. Oh, and that's backwards because of my camera. It's uh, 24 volts. And then if I go to the sensor wire, it's 9.75 volt or 9.57 volts. Um, I don't know why it's actually reading 9.57 volts, but it but it works. So I'm not asking questions, and it's. It's basically the computer's looking for a low voltage. So this is normally open. So right now it's open. The the the, uh, the the gantry, the trolley is not over the sensor right now. So the sensor is open right now. So this is a normally open sensor. So when I take a, a piece of metal, like if I put my finger over it, it doesn't do anything because it's a... Uh, the sensor is detecting metal, especially ferrous metal. So this is a little piece of steel. I'm going to put it over the sensor. And it goes straight up to 24 volts. Off. On. Off. On. So this is an NPN normally open sensor. So open. Close. Alright. So now... We're going to test this other sensor. So this other sensor, this is a PNP normally open sensor. So they're both normally open, but this one's a PNP. And again, there was a bunch of pull up, pull down lingo that I didn't understand. And I tried to research and it was taking too much time. It didn't say in the user manual, even though there was a wiring diagram, it didn't specify which type of sensor it was. So this for your guys' purposes 
is a PNP normally open? So again, we should have 24 volts. Now when I go to the sensor wire, so now this isn't activated at all and it's 24 volts even though it's a normally open. So that's showing you the difference between an NPN and a PNP. So even though this is normally open, it's showing 24 volts, which is backwards to me in my head. So I don't know why it's doing this, but I do know that for my machine, this is the wrong sensor. So when I activate the PNP sensor on a piece of metal, it drops to zero. So th that's the part that's really tripping me up here. This PNP NO, even though it's normally open, normally open puts 24 volts or whatever voltage you have. I think it's between 6 and 40 is what these sensors can do. Even though it's a normally open switch, it's putting out 24 volts on the signal wire when it's not activated which is counterintuitive, and that's why I ordered the wrong sensor. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. It's not that one or the other is right or wrong. It's if you bought a used machine or you don't feel like getting on the phone with the manufacturer and you want to figure out what it is, maybe, maybe they don't make that machine anymore. Maybe that company's not in business anymore. If you can get in here with your voltmeter and test between the positive 24 volt, you put the your your red sensor lead on the positive 24 volt and you put your ground on the sensor wire which is the black wire coming off these sensors and test them and see what you have so this is a PNP and it shows 24 when it's not activated and it shows nothing when it's activated and the NPN shows the opposite they're both normally open and the NPN shows opposite so when it's not activated, it's 9 or essentially 0. Um, and then when it's activated, it's showing 24 volts. So the NPN is what was right for my machine. But if you have a used machine they don't make it anymore and you're trying to figure out by a replacement sensor, uh, hopefully this video helps you.